Look at a few new goodies on the web development side of Visual Studio 2008. You may have heard that we finally get split view so we can see the designer and the HTML at the same time. Or maybe you want to know just how well that JavaScript IntelliSense works. Have you seen the new CSS integration? This is really cool and frankly it does something Gene Weaver should have been doing years ago. So let's get started. First, we want to take a look at the split view, and all we have to do to get the split view is we click this button right down here. Now when I select the div, either down in my design view, or if I select the div up in my HTML view, the other view shows me that I've got that selected. JavaScript IntelliSense, I've got a, a script block here already. Let's go put some JavaScript in here. Document background color equals blue. And just to show you that that's going to work, we'll run it. And let's get that window up there. So where we got our black on blue. Yeah, I know. There's other ways of doing it. Just a little JavaScript. Okay, the other thing that we can do, let's add a, a CSS file. I've already put a CSS file in the directory here with a, uh, a body element and a class defined. So let's go back over to our toolbar. I have a link snippet already defined for this. We're going to put up in the title, next to the title rather. And now, I go over to Properties, now that I've got my class defined, maybe I want to define what it's going to look like. The easiest way to do that, WYSIWYG Development, I go up here and View, CSS Properties, and now I can change, change the background color right here change it to yellow, maybe change some fonts, font style, let's put a little text in there so we can see what's going on. Everything shows up right inside the designer and as I make changes here I'm going to make that a little bit smaller it's making all those changes for me and it's putting them back in my CSS file. So all the changes that I've done have actually gone directly back into the CSS. Last thing I want to show you is one of the new options. This is under text editor, HTML, validation we can now specify that HTML errors and CSS errors and JavaScript errors are warnings. Uh, I've had a few places in my uh, 2005 projects where I couldn't get back into design view because the HTML wasn't well formed uh, or the, you know, when I did a compiler I got a whole bunch of error messages talking about my, my HTML being bad uh, when in fact it needed to be that way uh, for, you know, for whatever reason. Uh, now we have the ability of making those warnings instead of errors.